One of Central Michigan University's most anticipated events has finally arrived. The Michigan State Spartans are here at Kelly Short Stadium for the first time ever to take on the Chippewas. And a record number of fans are coming out to celebrate Mount Pleasant's biggest game day in history. Uh, we left Lansing around 9, so we were up here about 10 o'clock. Uh, we got here around 11. We've been tailgating since like 10 a.m. Uh, about 10, 15 a.m. tonight, or today. We wouldn't be paying up if we're not getting front row. Right behind the goalpost. What are you guys doing to celebrate the game today? Oh, uh, we're just hanging out, tailgating, and making friends. Just hanging out. We got some food, some stromboli, some, uh, some subs, some chips, pop, dip, whatever. It's good. What we've been doing for about 30 years, putting up our four tents, and we've got the <laughs> man grill going there, and we got the chafing dishes. I mean, we're ready. It's This is what we do. Tailgating, that's what September's about, you know? College football. More than 550 workers and volunteers from the university and local businesses came together to pull off the largest gathering of people in the city's history. When you play a game of this magnitude uh, in this city, uh, when you think about all the other things, it not only do we enjoy what it does for the university, but for the community. The city of Mount Pleasant has been involved in the planning for this game and this weekend for nearly a year because we knew what um, what the expected crowds would be. We were part of the end of the world parties and the May Fest and all the things that came with being a, a Chippewa that were a lot of fun and I've not seen this kind of buzz and atmosphere here in Mount Pleasant. So I'm really thrilled for Central Michigan, really thrilled for Mount Pleasant because I think it's just a great uh, economic boost for, for a really pretty special town. What's it like being in Mount Pleasant this time for the game? Uh, it's great, the atmosphere is great, a lot of people from the same state coming together, you know, to root on their teams and have a good time. With two big Michigan universities competing, there was bound to be some friendly rivalry. So far, we haven't spoken a word to each other yet today. So, um, depending on who wins the game, that person will, uh, the other person will be sleeping on the couch tonight, I think, right, honey? The first tailgate was down at his place in 90, oh, 91. No, we don't want to talk Over about a couple that. good no. games. It's the ninth time these teams have faced off, but this year, the Spartans had to step into Kelly Short Stadium. That is the exciting part is having them come on our turf now. It's about time. It's about time to win one in Mount Pleasant. Good luck. It's fun. <laughs> and I, as an alumni, really, really appreciate the fact that states um, made this arrangement because it's always great to have the big schools come in. The game is great, but this people tailgate like we tailgate is to talk to everybody and interact with all the people. These guys up here at CMU have been awesome. We've had great times with everybody. After a successful tailgate, the game began. Michigan State won in front of a record-breaking crowd of 35,127 attendees. In the next few years, CMU will be hosting more big-time schools, including North Carolina State, Oklahoma State, Kansas, and UNLV. The day was a special time for friends and family to come together and celebrate their favorite team. Four